Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to solve problems involving logarithm using the laws of logarithm. So stay tuned. Let's take a look at this question. Given that log a x equals to p, log a y equals to q, and log a z equals to r. Express log a x cubed z squared over square root of y in terms of p, q, and r. Now this is a typical question. First thing we need to do is arrange the information that's given to us. So at the side here you can see log a x equals p, log a y equals q, and log a z equals r. And this is our question. So now it's time to apply the first rule. So the first rule is when we have multiplication in the log, so let's say log a m times n, then we can separate it as an addition of the logs. So this will become log a m plus log a n. Let's look at our question. So on top here at the numerator, we have x cubed multiplied by z squared. Then we can separate it as log a x cubed plus log a z squared. Now the second rule, the second rule is when we have a division inside the log. So if it is log a m over n, then we can write it as log a m minus log a n. Here when we look at our question, this square root of y is at the denominator. So when we have something over square root y, then square root y can be written as minus log a square root y. Once we've completely separated all our terms inside the log, then we can move to the third law. The third law involves a power. So if our term has a power, then we can bring the power to the front of the log. So if it is log a n to the power of b, b can be brought to the front. So this will become b log a n or b times log a n. It's important to note that the power only belongs to n. If the power belongs to the whole log, then we cannot do this. We can only bring the power in front when it belongs to this term inside here. So let's look at our question again. So here we have log a x cubed log a z squared and log a square root of y. Now we don't want this square root of y because we don't know what the number is to take in front. So we convert the square root to to the power of half. So to the power of 1 over 2. Now we have all our numbers. These are the b's. And what we can do using this law, we can bring the numbers to the front. And so when we bring the numbers to the front, we get 3 log a x plus 2 log a z minus half log a y. There's only one thing left to do. And that is to substitute the values of P, Q and R into the equation. Because the question is asking for us to express this in terms of P, Q and R. So here we have log AX which is equals to P. So this will become 3P. Log AZ equals to R. And this will become 2R. And log AY which is equals to Q. So this will be half Q. And this is our final answer. That's it for this question, guys. We will be attempting more questions. If you've learned something, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to support me. And see you in the next video.